Hi everyone, it's Peter Buey here from joomlatraining.com.au and in this video we'll be looking at ordering articles within your Joomla website. All the different ways you can order your article and how easy it is to do. So I've already set up a whole bunch of articles in my website and it's a list of national parks within Sydney. It's got a couple of hits on each one of those and I'll just have a look at these articles themselves within the article manager. I've just ordered this by title. So I've got Blue Mountains at the top, Sydney Harbour at the bottom. Excellent. Maybe I'll order it by the date that it's been added. But, uh, that should sort about the time as well. So Royal National Park was the first one. Kosciuszko was the last one. Excellent. Okay. And I can see it by the ID. All right. So let's have a look at how this looks on the home page at the moment. So this is my test demo site and I'll just click on the National Parks menu so I can refresh this. Now this is ordered by most popular article at the top up at the moment. And I can tell because I've set it up previously. But I can see here that the hits for this particular article here is 5, 2 and 1 and 0 and 0 at the end. So I can tell that this is ordered by the most popular first. Now let's change this to change it over to alphabetical ordering first. So I'll go to the back end of the website, click on menus and menu manager. All the ordering and how your article is displayed, all that type of magic is all actually organized and arranged in your menu manager of your website. So I'll click on national parks here, which is the menu item that we're playing around with. And I'll click on the blog layout tab. This particular menu item is set up as a category blog. So if you change this over to a category list or, an, or a different layout, uh, you will have to choose different tabs across the top here. But in this case, it's blog layout. I'll click on that and I'll scroll down a little bit further. And here I can see the article ordering is in fact set at most hits. So what I'll do now is I'll click on this drop down menu and I have a whole bunch of options here. And in this case, I want to choose title alphabetical. So this will put it into alphabetical first with A being the highest and Z being the lowest. So I'll hit save. Go back to the front end of my website and hit refresh. So I should expect to see blue mountains at the top. And there it is, blue mountains at the top. So that's organized in alphabetical order. Let's play around with this a little bit more. Let's go for a manual ordering of some sort. So I'll click on that drop down again and I'll choose from the list. I can type it in and I'll go article manager order. Hit save. Now this is defined in the actual article manager of the site itself. So let's save and close. Go to the content area again, article manager and play around with the actual ordering within here. And you can do this by clicking on the ordering column and this will make these little three dotted lines, three dotted dots, sorry, darken a little bit. There we go. I can see that they're black now. Now I can start moving these things around. So I'll move blue mountains to fourth on the list by dragging it down. And I'll move the Sydney Harbour National Park maybe up to the very top. And what else should I do? No, maybe I'll make Lane Cove right at the bottom. There we go. So Sydney Harbour and Lane Cove at the bottom. Excellent. Now I didn't need to press save or anything here. By dragging and letting, over, letting go of the mouse button, it will automatically save it. So I'll go back to my menu item, menu manager and national parks and make sure I save this as article ordering. Yep. Article manager order, excellent. Now let's go to the front end of our website and see what's happened. Refresh this screen here. Great, National Sydney Harbour National Park is at the top. Lane Cove should be at the bottom. Excellent, that's worked. And that's how easy it is to rearrange the article ordering across your website. Now let's make this a little bit trickier. Save and close this. Now, this is something that we've actually had a problem with one of our clients. We had a brand new category. And I'll just type in park, save and close. 
and I'll move one of the articles that I've set up into that new article uh, category of park. And I'll move Lane Cove into park. There we go, save and close. So now I have four articles in parks and one article in park. Interesting. How does this affect the front end of the website? Refresh. Great. So I'm missing Lane Cove now. Now that is because I'm only pulling in articles from the parks category. And we can see that here. So let's mess around with that in the back end. Go back to the article manager. Click on national parks. And here I can see choose category. It is definitely set to parks. Okay. Now let's uh, play around with this a little bit more. And I'll change the different change the menu type to something else. And I'll change this over to featured articles. Great. So now featured articles will pull in articles across any category within your website that has the featured tag applied to it. So now I'm going to hit save and close and go back to my articles and feature a couple of those articles in the back end. So I'm going to feature that one from Lane Cove. I can do this simply by clicking this little star icon. So now Lane Cove is featured and I'll make Sydney Harbour featured and I'll make Blue Mountains featured. Great. Let's have a look at the front end and see what this has done. Great. So there are the three articles that I have picked, Sydney Harbour, Blue Mountains and Lane Cove. Now let's put this in alphabetical order. Menu, main menu, national parks. Now I'll click on layout. Now you notice here that now that it's a featured article menu type, the tabs across here have changed. So I have to go to layouts now as opposed to blog layout. Now here it's pulling in articles from all categories, which is what I want. We still have the layout of six, which is great. But the article ordering here is defined by article manager order. Okay, that's how I've had it before. Great. Uh, but you'll notice a couple of new things down here. You can't see them all because my screen isn't large enough. I'll just zoom out a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to put this in alphabetical order. Great. Hit save and go back to the front end. Let's see if this puts it in alphabetical order again. Refresh. Cool. Blue Mountains, Sydney Harbour and Lane... Hang on a second. Lane Cove should be before Sydney Harbour. Now, this is happening because it's going by the categories first. So, it, it's looking at this particular category, which is parks, and doing the alphabetical ordering here. And then it's going to the parks category, the park category, sorry, I really should have named that something else. And then ordering the articles that are featured in that category afterwards. Okay. So let's try and ignore the actual category and just order the articles by alphabetical ordering, but ignoring the category that it's in. Okay. So let's go back to the back end to the menu. And what we have to also choose is the category order here. And we choose no, no ordering. So this will tell Joomla to ignore the category that the articles are in. We hit save, go back to the front end, hit refresh. And there we go. It didn't make a liar of me. Blue Mountains is first, Lane Cove is second, and Sydney Harbour is last. Let's also play around with the ordering of this one more time just to make sure it's working. And we'll, mo we'll go most recent first. Save Go back to the home page, refresh, Lane Cove, Blue Mountains, Sydney Harbour, and we can check that ordering in the back end of the website by looking at which one was entered in last. Save and close. Article Manager. We'll order it by ID number. 
and usually the largest ID number is the last one that was added in. So we can see Lane Cove, Blue Mountain, Sydney Harbour is four, three, and two. So that should be the ordering. Lane Cove, Blue Mountain, Sydney Harbour. Lane Cove, Blue Mountain, Sydney Harbour. Excellent. So that's ordering in a nutshell. To just quickly recap, all the magic really is done in the main menu manager, depending when your menu item is, and in the particular layout options of the menu type that you have selected. So for more great training videos, make sure you check out joomtraining.com.au. If you have any comments for this video, please leave them in the comments box below or on the website. And if you have any specific questions, just jump onto joomtraining.com.au and leave your questions there. Thanks. Till next time. Bye.